This video explains how to grow vegetables in the dry season using a simple drip irrigation system. This system can help you feed your family. It can even supply you with extra vegetables to sell to provide income for your family. You will first need to construct planting beds. Please watch our other animation on raised planting beds to learn how to construct the raised planting beds in preparation for drip line placement. Your slopes will likely not be as steep as the slope shown here. They are more likely to look like this. Place two drip irrigation lines on each one meter wide raised planting bed. Be sure the drip holes in the irrigation lines are turned upwards. This will ensure that each plant receives the same amount of water. Make sure to place the drip lines seven to eight inches or 18 to 20 centimeters from the edge of the planting bed. Secure the drip lines in place using wire staples, forked sticks, or other materials you have available. Be careful not to poke a hole in the drip lines. Next, make a stand for the container that will ultimately hold the water. The bucket or other container should hold at least 20 liters of water. The bottom of the container needs to be one meter above the planting bed. If you use a larger bucket or barrel to water several planting beds, make the stand slightly higher to provide more water pressure. Connect the drip lines to the container. Burn, cut, or drill a hole in the bottom of the bucket to match the size of the connector. Attach the connector to the bucket. Insert the feed lines into the fitting. Once the connections are made, be sure the bucket is secured to its stand with a wooden brace, rope, string, or wire. Use what you have. Next, connect the feed lines to the drip lines. A special connector is needed to make the connection. Cut off a two and a half centimeter piece at the other end of the drip line. This sleeve will be used in the next step. Fold two and a half centimeters of the end of the drip line over itself twice. Slide the cut off sleeve over the folded drip line to provide a seal at the drip line end. Note that the drip line connection procedures described may vary with different drip line manufacturers. Be sure to follow the instructions given by the group or company that manufactured the drip lines. Cover the top of the water container with a cloth to serve as a coarse filter. The cloth will help filter out materials that might clog the drip filter or the drip line. The cleaner the water you use, the less likely the drip holes will become plugged. Now you are ready to add water to the container. As the water flows down the drip lines, it will begin dripping out of the holes. It is best not to make any additional holes in the drip line. If fewer holes are desired, to place your plants further apart, seal some holes with electrical tape or other available material. Use the wet spots at each drip hole to identify the location to plant your transplants. Use your hand, a stick, or a small trowel to make the planting hole. Plant each of the plants at the same depth as they have been growing. If the plants are tall and thin, plant them a bit deeper. For example, in the case of a tall, thin tomato plant, place the plant so that the stem is covered to the first leaf. After transplanting is complete, filling the water container again 
or providing additional water with the sprinkler can is a good idea. The additional water will help the plants survive the shock of transplanting. If water is limited, only water at the base of your plants. Next, mulch the surface. Place dried plant materials, such as grass cuttings or straw, on the raised beds. The mulch will slow down the loss of moisture from the soil, lower soil temperature, and reduce weed growth. For every 15 meter raised bed containing 100 plants, you will need to provide 20 liters of water both morning and evening. Remember, one raised bed will produce enough vegetables to feed a family of five to seven during the dry season. Extra planting beds will produce food to sell at the marketplace. With drip irrigation and mulching, three gallons of water can result in the production of one pound of vegetables. In order to optimize your production, it is best to plant two rows of plants in each raised bed, as shown here. With drip irrigation, every drop of water can benefit the plants. Even in the dry season, your garden will be productive. With the use of compost materials, raised planting beds, and drip irrigation, you will improve the soil nutrient level, allow more air and moisture to enter the soil, and increase vegetable production.